Hey everybody, I'm Amanda with DevExpress. We're always working on performance enhancements for all of our product lines, and twice a year we release those improvements and new controls. So let's take a look at some of the cool new features for the 16.2 release. The Windforms grid now has a Kanban view for tiles. They work great for visualizing task management. Both the Windforms and WPF grid have Excel-inspired filtering, making it easier to create filter criteria. And the WPF grid now allows fixed rows, so end users can pin specific data rows to the top and bottom. Plus, there's a ton of new features for our diagram control, available for both Windforms and WPF. We've also added a set of custom control behaviors for WinForms controls. They implement certain functionality for controls using its public API. Some of the new behaviors include clock, banner, persistence, and snap window. Our WPF chart control has gone 3D. It allows you to visualize data in 3D sets for surface, bars, scatter points, and bubbles. Another great addition for WPF is our new module injection framework. It makes it easier to develop test, maintain, and deploy modular applications built with loosely coupled modules. There are also improvements to WinForms and WPF controls like the Map Control, PDF Viewer, Scheduler, Spreadsheet, Ribbon, Pivot Grid, and more. The ASP.NET Grid View has been updated to include features like client-side processing of column reordering, postponed column resizing, and highlighting removed rows when batch editing. Our ASP.NET HTML editor now has special dialogues for uploading files to cloud services like Azure or Dropbox. With this new API, you no longer need to implement custom file saving logic. We've also updated other ASP.NET controls like the scheduler, pivot grid, spreadsheet, and more. Here's some of the updates for HTML5 and JavaScript with our Dev Extreme suite. There's Angular 2 support. Our MVC wrappers are now available as a release candidate. They allow ASP.NET developers to use DevExtreme widgets in MVC applications using the Razor c -sharp code syntax. And we continue to enhance controls like the grid, pivot grid, scheduler, and more. We also continue to improve our reporting suite with features like the new character comb control. It allows you to display text so that each character is printed inside cells. This new feature works great for eForms. You can now also edit a preview document before printing or exporting. And we've also enhanced our report server and made a document viewer for mobile devices. There's also updates to our dashboard suite. Our web dashboard control is out of beta and officially release ready. There's also a new tree map item available. And we've improved our XAF suite with mobile platform enhancements, as well as adding a dashboards module, giving you the ability to add our interactive dashboards for Windows and for the web. We continue to update our VCL products as well. There's an RTM version for a PDF viewer, new range control, token editor, and barcode control. The Express Scheduler has a new agenda view and the Express Quantum Grid now allows merged column grouping. Of course, this is just a small sample of all that's new with 16.2. To see all that we have to offer in this release, make sure to check out the What's New page on our website. And if you haven't tried us out yet, you can download our controls and try them for free for 30 days at devexpress.com/try. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.